you've ever worked with vinyl or even oil cloth, you know that when you store it, usually you roll it up and if it sits there over time, it tends to compress and it can be really, really wrinkly. I have a few tips for you on trying to iron out the wrinkles in both vinyl and in oil cloth. So here I have a piece of vinyl. Now, the best thing to do is if you have a nice warm spring or summer day, go lay this out flat in the yard or on a back table or on a patio and let the sun warm it up. If you just leave it out there and it gets nice and hot, after a while, the wrinkles will fall right out of it and it will be supple. However, if it's the middle of winter, you obviously don't want to wait till spring to work with your vinyl. So I have a piece of vinyl right here. The easiest thing to do is put your iron on a low setting and just take another piece of fabric and put it over the top of your vinyl and then you can just gently iron it out. You don't need any steam, it will just get the vinyl wet. So you can do that to iron the wrinkles out. If the wrinkles don't come out, turn your iron to one setting higher let it warm up and try again. Now, that's if you have a flat piece of vinyl. Let's say you've just made a bag like this and when you turn it inside out, it's a huge wrestling match. Even if you start with really nice flat pieces of unwrinkled vinyl, as soon as you turn that sucker inside out, it wrinkles up like crazy. So you can't exactly put this down and iron on top of it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our hot iron, okay? And you can put this on a cotton setting, that's fine. And you're just gonna warm up your entire mat just like this. Get your mat nice and hot, okay? Once your mat is nice and hot, you can put this face down and you just want to use your fingers to press the vinyl to the mat just like this and smooth out any wrinkles and it's just the perfect amount of heat to get all of the wrinkles out of your already made vinyl bag.